All right, well, my car was at Highland Park last weekend, and uh, we've just discovered, thank you, Mike Anthony, uh, two, well, one new firmware feature and one firmware improvement that I've seen. I'm on 6.1 version 2.2.200. And um, for starters, uh, the firmware improvement, one that's been long awaited, browsing. They have improved the response responsiveness of the browser. Of course, it's going to look a little choppy due to frame rates on the camera. But um, this would have been a minute long and a jerky Uh, jerky um, scroll to try and get to the bottom of a web page. In full, especially in full screen, in half screen. even better so okay that was a uh, a minor improve um, actually a major improvement for browsing now the next a new way to unlock your doors let's go let's just lock them first okay doors are locked you can see now usually if say you were parked and uh, someone wanted to get in um, they couldn't just press the handles if the doors are locked even if you're sitting in the car because it's a manual lockout safety kind of feature. What they can do, press the park button, and the doors extend. Unfortunately, they didn't do it. I would have preferred hit the park button while you're in park and have the doors lock. Just in case, you know, it's quicker than trying to bring this up to hit lock button. I think lock, I, th I think you could do lock and unlock. Maybe press it once to, uh, tw I think it should be the same as the key fob. Press it twice to unlock, once to lock. Uh, safety feature, someone's chasing you, you get in the car, you hit the lock button real quick, and it locks your doors. But it doesn't quite work like that. Maybe test a little see this and change that in a future release. Uh, but there you go, new feature and uh, new improvement.